What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. The auto shop life. Well, we're in the car right now, but just got back from the shop. Shot a quick video for you guys and, uh, you know, realized it was kind of a longer video. So I want to cut back this intro here, but uh, basically want to talk about tool maintenance, toolbox maintenance, the, you know, some of the products I've used. You know, guys ask me questions on some of the product I use to keep the toolbox clean and maintenance, keeping the tool cleans. Obviously, you guys hear some of my points on it, but... Uh, get right into it just pulled into the garage uh get a quick uh, intro in here get to the shop get right on down to it check it out shut up and sit down kind of get into it i got a tool yesterday i was kind of cleaning up my hand tools you guys know you follow me on instagram you kind of post before and after quick reminders keep those tools clean i figure what better time to do a video than now but uh going around the shop got a car right here we've been working on kind of tools scattered everywhere the new guys you know use the tool every now and again but i like to put my stuff away therefore start fresh monday morning clean everything up and i got the milwaukee Long reach, just got done cleaning that up. Um, you know, it wasn't like caked on dirt, but it was definitely oily. He's doing a water pump in there, so it's getting kind of crazy, coolant mess and all that stuff. So this one I cleaned up, but then I waited on the snap-on one, and you can see it's not too bad, but you can kind of sh see that oil shine on there. But, uh, you know, I want to dive down, clean this thing up, show you how this Purple Power stuff works, and then talk about, you know, some of the maintenance on the toolbox, some of the products I use. Uh, not only keeping it clean, but keeping it maintenance, you know, the drawers and all that other stuff. So let's dive down and talk about some of these products. Get the other uh, Snap-on 14.4 long neck cleaned up and get at it. All right, guys. So getting to it, we talked about the Purple Power, how I buy it in Concentrate. You probably also be able to find this stuff at, uh, you know, maybe Ace Hardware. I'm not sure if Home Depot carries it and things like that. Um, like I said, most of the parts stores, probably your O'Reilly's, AutoZone, things like that, is going to carry your purple power. But home, auto, industry, farm, marine, this stuff is great stuff. You know, I could swear by it. It, it definitely works. And then guys ask me, uh, you know, I use a few products cleaning the box. Obviously, when I run low on the Snap-on Matte Finish Cleaner, um, looks like they changed the logo. This is a new bottle I just had picked up. I've been pretty much getting this stuff for free these days. You know, it's great, but I think the bottles only cost maybe 15, 16, 17 bucks. Um, you know, on a Mac box, you can use Windex. You know, you don't want to use any wax-based product and all that stuff. I have in the past, and I do, the box cleaner, one to mention, that's a great one to use. There is a little bit of Carnuba wax in this, but you keep a clean. I actually did a video on that. I'll try to post the link up at the top. Um, this stuff does work too. And you know, I actually noticed when I use this stuff to clean the box, you know it stays cleaner for longer it seems like the dust don't stick to it and thing like that that might be because of the the wax in it but uh you know it seems like the dust and dirt kind of slides off of it and doesn't stick so much as opposed to when i use the windex or the snap-on cleaner um it's just great stuff you know i, I uh, really dig this stuff but you know now, the cost of this is a bottle of a cost of, uh, you know, this stuff's not even Windex, it's just uh, the economy Windex. You know, this definitely gets the job done on the matte finishes, definitely doesn't leave the streaks. So those are my pretty much top three that I use for the toolbox, you know, at least cleaning the finish without ruining the matte. And you guys can see I got the Snap-on Monopoly. You guys were asking about that 20-year-old uh, game I ended up picking up. Cool stuff. But... Uh, Get into the tool. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod. Just try to clean up this one. Like I said, it's mostly just oil on there. You know, sometimes if I forget to do it for a few days, it starts to get caked on there. But uh, you clean this one up, get that uh, get that oil and grease off of there. All right, guys. So pretty much what I do is just take clean shop rag, spray it with some purple power. Kind of saturate it pretty good. Oops. And then just wipe it all down. And if there was caked on dirt and grime on there, you kind of just scrub at it. You know, it does come off. Then take a dry one. Dry it up around the trigger. You know, you probably don't want to spray it directly 
you know, into the vents and all that stuff. Just kind of clean, keep it on a clean rag, depending on how dirty it is. Wipe everything off. And that's pretty much it. And then you could probably take a little bit of, you know, WD-40 or PB Blaster and just hit it with the metal portion with a coating, especially if you got scratches on it. You know, this stuff does start to surface rust, just like sockets when you're, you know, maybe we'll do that in another video. You know, the maintenance, how I maintenance my sockets and all that stuff to not rust in the drawers. A couple tips and tricks, you know, what I use. One tip is, is pretty much keeping these silica packets in the socket drawer. Kind of keeps the moisture out, so any time I get one of these, you know, in a package or a box or whatever, you know, I just toss them in the drawer. Guys. So now I got the, you know, battery power tools clean. We talked about cleaning the tools. We'll talk about some uh, toolbox maintenance. Outside of just cleaning the toolbox, obviously, uh, you know, the drawers on these Epics kind of squeak, especially when you load them down and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, I got a little thing I could use uh, that I've been using to kind of you know, extend the life of things, you know, get those drawer slides moving, especially, you know, weighing them down like that. You know, I probably have too much weight in these drawers as is, but uh, I noticed this stuff does help. But this is the stuff I get from Snap-on, synthetic co concentrate, uh, 220 lube they call it, and it's pretty much just a spray lube. You know, it's not necessarily like a white lithium or anything like that, but, you know, obviously, if you're not getting it from Snap-on, this is, you could just get the multi-purpose uh, spray lube. You know, I use this stuff for car doors, things like that. Uh, you know, anything that goes creak or crack or whatever. You know, anything that creaks or, you know, makes a noise it's not supposed to make, I uh, spray this on. It uh, tends to last longer than WD-40 and all that stuff. It's less oily. It's to clean, easier to clean up. Um, I don't know, a part number on this one. Uh, what are they calling it? This stuff's uh, made by Psycho, though, and they got a stock number uh, C405. I'm not even sure where I get this. My, my brother hooks me up with this stuff. He uh, gets this stuff at his work and he pretty much just anything car or auto related, he kind of puts in a box and gives it to me, but running low on it, but this is definitely a full can, probably one of the last cans. So it's pretty much dedicated to, uh, you know, when I run out of this, use it for the toolbox or you get those customers with the squeaky doors and all that stuff. But uh, Snap-on have a part number on this one, pretty much Lube 220, I'm sure they're gonna be calling it. Um, you could pretty much ask your Snap-on guy about it, uh, the Snap-on loop for the you know drawers. You could also use this thing for uh, air tools. It says exceptional film strength, excellent penetration, expels corrosive moisture. So this does help with moisture too, along with this one, same stuff, water displacement. But show you guys how I use this, kind of why I use it and what I use it for. All right, guys. As you guys know, every drawer has a slide. Um, obviously, my top drawer. On the Epics, they have two slides here, and pretty much you just take this stuff, and I pretty much extend the drawer fully out, and then just give the top and bottom a spray. I like to have a, you know, a rag or a shop rag on hand, just wipe off the access so it doesn't get everywhere. Give that one a spray, top one a spray, kind of wipe off the access, and then just work the drawer in and out. It does quiet it up. This drawer is probably one of my heaviest drawers, the socket drawer, but. You know, one or two coats, maybe hit it again, depending on, you know, how often you do it. Not that hard. Keep things going. Hit the other side. There we go. Next drawer. This one's got two also. Pretty much just hit the inner track. You guys can see this track. You get the camera angle better. You guys can see this smaller track goes inside the bigger track. And then obviously on these snap-on box, if you want to disconnect the box, you just pull out on these tabs. But you know the, the rollers are in between here. They ride on the top of this, the bottom, and then the top of this one and the bottom of this one. And that's pretty much where you want to spray it. You know, kind of keep it concentrated on the top. So when you push it in, you know, all that spray kind of gets on those bearings. You know, works those bearings, loops up the bearings pretty well. Give it two, the top and the bottom. Wipe off the access here. Hit up the other side. This stuff works really well. You can, you can even tell the drawer moves a lot better. Less noise. All you're really hearing now is, you know, the extension when this one goes all the way in, you can hear it click back. Hit all the drawers up. Once in a while with this stuff, you get less squeaks. Those toolbox tracks will uh, last a lot longer using this stuff.
All right, guys. So this last one um, is obviously, like I said, it's one I've mentioned in other videos. I get a lot of questions asked, you know, how I keep the matte black's finish clean, um, you know, it doesn't hold fingerprints, how does it handle grease, how does it, you know, I, I give the matte black color lineup some credit. It definitely doesn't show the fingernail scratches as much as a gloss coat does, you know, especially along where you grab the drawer and all that stuff. I've seen on a lot of gloss colored boxes, you can see, definitely see the fingernail scratches. You know, Snap-on does offer that, you know, carbon fiber sticker or, you know, you guys can make your own sticker to kind of protect it from that. But the flat black definitely hides that. Um, depending on the type of the grease or grime on there, it, it, you know, it doesn't hold fingerprints that well. It doesn't show fingerprints that good, um, which is a good thing. But when you get the grease, you know, you got a greasy hand or greasy fingerprint on there, you know, it definitely sticks. It definitely shows. It'll definitely shine it up, you know, make that matte look shiny. And this stuff works great, like I said. Snap on truck, if you got a part number on this one, uh, K A C K F L T C L N R. I'll put that on the screen because that's a pretty ridiculous part number, but uh, it's for the matte colors. They do have it for the gloss boxes, all that stuff. Um, you know, I, I truly think that Snap on should come out with like a protected spray for the matte colors and things like that, but this stuff does work miracles. You know, and with this, I don't spray it on the rag. You can spray some on the rag, but I hit directly the box. You can kind of see how easy it is. Get these a couple of drawers down here, kind of go along, stay in one area. Maybe I'll do the top four boxes there, and then just give it a quick wipe down. Any of those dirtier spots, you want to kind of hit extra there. And what I like this stuff is after it dries, you know, it doesn't show, uh, it doesn't show streaks. So I usually use two microfiber towels. You can see in the middle here, it's kind of extra dirty because that's where I'd be pulling on the drawers. Open them up, get the top lip. Dust likes to sit up there. Get behind the handle. Next one. Behind the handle real good. And then I just like to follow it up with a clean microfiber, a dry one without the spray on there. And just kind of hit the corners, anything I missed, any of the extra wet spots, and it works great. Gets all that grime and grease off. I'll show you guys an up close on this power drawer. All right, guys. So you can see, you know, obviously where I grab the drawer to open it, you know, it's dirty up at the top, dust sits at the top there. You can see, make sure you clean the top lip portion of it, but just give this the spray, not too much. Give it a wipe down. Open the drawer here, get the top. All along here, the back where dust sits, anywhere there's fingerprints. Behind the handle and the top, try to get in all the crevices here. Hit it with the clean one. There we go. Shiny and new. Don't forget to hit the trim too. All right, guys. So wrapping this one up, like I said, purple power for the hand tools, the, you know, the battery power tools, even, even the pneumatic tools, purple power is fine to use. Buy the stuff in the concentrate, get it at your local parts store. You know, as far as toolbox, on, it, it depends on the type of color you got. You know, if you got the gloss, you could use a lot more products, obviously with the wax and things like that. But for me, to answer everybody's questions, you know, obviously with the flat colors, I stick with the streak list stuff, you know, stuff that has none or low wax, you know, or wax based cleaner in it. Um, keep the tools clean. You know, the you take care of the tools, those tools will take care of you. You know, obviously my tools are my best asset. You know, if it wasn't for these tools, my bills couldn't get paid. My, could, my kids wouldn't be taken care of. I wouldn't be able to buy new tools, more tools, my, pay for my vehicles, my mortgage, the shop, all that stuff. You know, obviously these tools 
our livelihood, you know, and, you know, throw, throw in a couple minutes, clean them up at either end of every day or every two days or at the end of every week, you know, keeping track of your tools like I do, whether I come in on a Sunday just to kind of get, go around the shop gathering all my tools. Every tool has a home, make sure they're in place where they need to be cleaned up so dirt doesn't get in the toolbox. I said, you know, you're putting tools away dirty, the inside of the drawer looks nasty, and then you, you got to take all the tools out. You know, it's actually less work just to keep the tools clean makes you a more organized, you know, mechanic, probably, probably a more successful mechanic. You come into a clean toolbox, all nice tools organized, that's going to give you a positive attitude. Therefore, when you go to work on these cars, you work on them with a positive attitude, you run into some issues with a car, you know, it's not the end of the world. Obviously, you can get through it, figure it out, and it'll make you a better person. Obviously, you know, whether you get a raise or anything else, you become a better mechanic because of it. But keep everything clean. Tool maintenance, big on, you guys know, big on toolbox organization. Just had to get one out there for you guys, go through a couple of the products. I'll try to link some of the, at least, products that I use down in the description, what I use them for, all that stuff. Obviously, you guys know the snap-on stuff you see. If you got a snap-on rep, ask your rep. You know, what do you need it for? Obviously, you know, the, drawer, the toolbox drawer tracks and all that stuff, that stuff works miracles, but, you know, I wasn't using that stuff in the beginning. I was using the multi-purpose, kind of white lithium kind of stuff. Um, you kind of want to stay, steer clear from the white lithium stuff because dirt does stick to that. You want like a, you know, a water repellent based uh, spray lube that you want to use on there. It works great. You know, hit that up once a month, depending on the heavy drawers. Maybe I'll hit a little more often, but some of the drawers I don't open so much, you know, I'd spray less because the, the cans do cost money. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.